Yeah guys, what happened to me with the motorbike, it's crazy and I will show you in just one minute what happened. But first let's pack the motorbike, let's leave Agra and let's head toward Jaipur because that's when the incident happened. So let's begin. Today I'm leaving Agra, I'm heading to Jaipur, it's gonna be like 260 kilometers, maybe like 5 hours drive. And they forecast rain for today and tomorrow like 80-90%. So this morning he was super kind, he went to the market alone and he bought me raincoat. You bought it in the market? Oh, perfect. And this is my favorite color, you know? It's perfect? Really? I don't know what yeah. I <laughs> This is like military green. I love this color so much. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Thank, Thank you so much. You oh, very nice. Oh, he made coffee for us. Thank you, sir. Light. Coffee? Yes. Light coffee? Yes. Cheers. Bye, Cheers. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How you say? Bita Zer. Bita Zer. When I come back to Agra, I will uh, visit you again. Yes. We'll go around to Thank Hello. you, brother. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right, guys. Time to leave. I got my raincoat. And the uh, next destination is going to be Jaipur in Rajasthan. So now I put my bag in a plastic bag and I put it on the back of the bike. Let me show you how I set it up. So I asked the hotel to give me like a trash bag and then I got this and I put my bag here so I can drive easily. All right, Jaipur, four hours and 36 minutes. Going to Jaipur. 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 Uh, thank you for telling me how to. Oh no 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 sir. No, it's my duty. Thank you me. are our guest, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Actually, we are Indians, or we are very. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys. I stopped quickly here in Fetepur Sikri because that guy that stopped me on the way, he's actually from here, and he told me, "Oh, you should absolutely stop here and have a look at this beautiful red fort, which is right behind me." It's on the way to Jaipur and the reason why he stopped me is because he gave me some suggestion on driving. He saw me driving and passing a, a big truck on the left side so he followed me and he asked me to stop and say be very careful with trucks because they are crazy and they just swing like left and right so make sure to always pass trucks on the right side. And then we started to talk and he told me that he's actually from here and he told me oh you should absolutely stop here it's it's a beautiful fort so I decided to just take a quick break here. This fort is very famous and it's actually massive it goes inside for like two kilometers there is a ticket to pay but unfortunately i don't have too much time to get a ticket and go inside i just want to see it from uh, outside all right let's continue to jaipur bye bye <laughs> Alright guys, I stopped in Mawa, which is exactly halfway between Agra and uh, Jaipur. I still have 125 kilometers to go. I'm extremely dirty. This one is a national highway number 21, while from uh, Delhi to Agra was the national highway number 19. It's actually in very good conditions this road, I really like it. Except you always have to be careful uh, about the cows because the cows are everywhere. And even when you drive, they just cross your road. They just lay down in the road. All right, let's go eat now. Hello. Hi. This is chapati. Hi. Chapati. Now record. Rajasthan Mawa. Babu, Babu. Silly chair, watch your camera, Babu. Thank you, sir. Okay. So they bring me some uh, chapati with butter and dal. Those are like lentils inside. It's very salty. I don't know if it's the dal or the chapati, but I think the dal. 
very salty. And it's at this point that the drama happened. I finished eating, I was just hanging out, relaxing. I flew the drone and different guys came over to watch the drone and just to hang out. And one of them, which is the friend of the owner of the restaurant, asked me to try the motorbike in the parking because he has a Yamaha MT-09, so he knows how to drive motorbike. And he asked me if he can try the Royal Enfield in the parking. So I let him try because he's a friend of the restaurant owner and also he knows how to drive motorbike. And that's when the big problem happened. So I paid 200 rupees for the dal and uh, chapati. Now I, I let one guy drive the motorbike and he disappeared. I don't know where did he go. I hope he didn't run away. It's a uh, big muscle. I just thought he would drive it here, you know, in the, in the parking, and then give it back. Just a small try, like a few seconds, one minute, just go down the road and come back. But he actually left and didn't come back. Definitely lesson learned. I will not give my motorbike anymore. Guys, something happened. The guy didn't come back and they look very worried. They look very worried, so something happened. So now I call my friend in Agra, the tuk-tuk driver, and he's talking to him, trying to explain, because I have no clue what is happening, but everybody's like super worried about what happened to my motorbike. So I hope he can translate for me. Man, what a silly mistake that I give the mic to him. Yeah, I thought he would just go like 50 meters and just try in the parking lot, but he took the bike and went away. I say him, I say him, you call him quick, they bring motorbike. Because otherwise they don't bring motorbike, then I have to complain for police. Yeah, exactly. Oh, here, here we go, he's coming back. Oh, oh, oh. The, mo the motorbike! Hey! What are you doing? So it just started to rain and uh, I stop again. I will drink a coffee while I wait the rain to pass. But did you see that man? That was uh, that was intense. So what happened? What is the reason? It's hard to tell because I wasn't able to communicate with them. At the beginning, I thought he crashed the bike. He was involved in an accident. Then they told me no. So I started to think maybe he stole my bike. He ran away with my bike. But then as soon as my friend that took the driver told him that he would call the police, then he brought the bike back immediately. But most probably what really happened is that he went back home to his room and he showed the motorbike to someone, maybe his girlfriend, maybe the friend, maybe the family. And then he went with the passenger somewhere else. And this can be true because I found the passenger foot pegs, the one where you put your foot in the back for the passenger they were open and I always keep them closed but anyway this is crazy because he was away for 30 minutes and at the beginning he just said he would just try the motorbike in the parking lot that was a really bad behavior but also it's my fault that I decided to give him the motorbike all right guys almost made it to Jaipur I think I have uh, 40 kilometers left and also the Sun came out so I'm so happy now it's like a blue sky and sunny I've been lucky to be honest it maybe rained like for five minutes and then the rest was just cloudy I just stopped here because I just saw like a crazy accident. There is a, there is just a car in the middle of the field. Let's see what happened. Man, that's crazy. I think it just lost control and just jump off. Oh fuck, there is also a motorbike. It's like a motorbike and a car. Man, look at that bike there. It's like completely... For sure, Indian roads are dangerous. You have to like focus all the time because anything can happen. You have cows crossing you, dogs, trucks, bus, cars. It's like a wild west, man. It's total anarchy. So now the ambulance came. I hope the driver is okay, man. All right, last leg to Jaipur and then we made it. I hope the sun will stay up like this. Let's go. Right guys, made it to Jayapur. I didn't make any booking for tonight, but I found this hotel called Hotel Magenta. 
uh, it's like a pretty centrally located and it has a good price so I want to check out the room and the price directly here one one very nice all right guys I book here for a couple of nights 55 euro for a room including breakfast which floor first floor all right guys nice little room for a couple of nights it's actually a corner room so many windows and it's very very bright i like these chairs and that's it for today's guys thank you for watching and stay tuned because in the next video i will show you jaipur bye bye